hi all so today in this video we are going to see about mni okay so we have already seen about loop okay in the in one of the video okay and this was a process model that was used there okay uh, for the ba basic understanding of the loops okay mni is also a kind of loop only okay the full form is multiple node instances okay it means that whenever we have a say we have a task and we want to perform the same task multiple times then we can use mnis okay so what we will do here is we will uh, go in the process model and we will try to create an mni okay for for example let's you know like let's name it mni process let's name it like this one only and click on create fine okay let's keep the default uh, security setting and here is the process model okay now in the mni the you know like now the question comes like okay i have created a new process blank process is there now i have to uh, you know like perform a mni so mni can be performed on different nodes okay we are going to take an example of a script task here okay so in most of the nodes in appian if you will go there you will find all these you know like uh, these tabs are present okay and similarly there is an other uh, other type as well I, when you go in the other type from here only you can configure the mni okay now the question arise like uh, how to configure the mnis okay uh, and uh, since we have seen like multiple instances the definition tells us like a uh, like same task i want to do multiple times so it is a kind of loop and if you remember it clearly we have also seen the loops uh, have a for each loop as well uh, kind of you can say uh -huh, in our expression rules so for example let's take a local bank let's say uh, how that loop used to work you know like i am just going to get a brief intro about it the same concept we will try to uh, apply here as well so for example this is the data and i have taken a for each loop okay and i want that what are the different items which are present in the data so i need to iterate over local bank data and in the expression what i need to do fb bank item if you give the fb bank item you will get all the items that are listed in your array of values now if somebody tells like no i don't want just fb bank item i want to increment uh, the each value with let's say 100 now if you will see the result every particular value which was there in the array my array was this one 10 34 56 70 23 23 and every value is incremented by now a uh, 100 okay so this is a example of a simple loop the same concept we will try to achieve here as well but with the help of an mni okay let's see how that works okay first of all what we will do here is here we define what local bank data to store our data so here also we have to define somewhere so that we can store our data okay variable so we will create okay uh, let's say data only i have named their data so here also i will name it data only okay and then number number integer and see this data was kind of you know like uh, uh, it is have holding multiple values if it is holding multiple values so make sure your data should here also be multiple then only it can store an array of data okay let's try to you know like let me just copy the same data and paste it here as well so local bank data is having this value so i have initialized the variable with some data only i'm not using any script task to set data i can also use you know like uh, one script task to set data and what it will do here is it will just try to uh, whatever the data i want i can set my data here okay and in the local bank data that as well we can do it okay so let me just delete the value from here okay that's fine and done so once our data is set now the second time what i want here is i want to do mni like uh, i want some result of data and each value should be incremented by 100 okay so i will go for the mni is now okay because i know like it will uh, we have to go for a loop so i am going for mni here now 
so here if you will go in the other type you will see multiple you know like uh, this uh, other type is divided into three types multiple instances are there deadlines are there execution options are there we have to uh, we are currently seeing the multiple instances so multiple instances is again divided into two parts here it is saying like uh, you if you check box this then it will enable MNI okay and the second part is like how you want to run multiple instances okay let's try and check uh, check this box now when I check this box see first line it is saying like automatically run multiple instances of this node I want to run multiple instance of this node okay now the first is like run one instance of this node do I want to run one instance see what happened here actually in this local bank data how many times uh, the values were printed the values were printed five times why because five items are there in my five items are there in my array now see what now six items are there so loop executed for six times so I can't hard code the number of values here two three four five six it will depend on the array of data okay in the it will depend on the array so I can't select this one okay this option is disabled let it be now the uh, this option selected uh, run one instance for each item in so that you know like that is saying like uh, this node okay this MNI will uh, run one instance for each item and that's what I want for each item I want uh, like it should get printed okay it should get it should return my value and see here uh, the same thing is happening before adding 100 for each item what it was doing it was trying to get me all the data 10 34 56 like this okay so I want for each item where is the this is the data because in the data I am storing my array now the second option you will find here is spawn all and spawn new if you will go in the you know like this tooltip here it will say you know like a uh, uh, spawn all means all the ins all the uh, values that are there it will be spawned at once only means it will get triggered at once only means six uh, items or five items are there five will be get executed in kind of you can say parallel executions you can uh, parallel execution will be there okay and uh, spawn new is a uh, kind of sequential way okay uh, okay so most probably uh, in most of the huge case parallel execution works so we are going to keep the default setting to spawn all only parallel executions okay now the fourth option was run this many again the same question I am not aware like how much I should run okay so I am just uh, uh, going with the run one instance for each item in local bank data now the second part I have now done my what is the MNI I have configured okay I have the data and done okay now the second part of this MNI tells us like run all instances at the same time okay so when this particular when this node will particularly move okay I want to move on okay this node will get completed then only I should uh, ideally I should move on so I will select the option like each time an instance finishes no the first instance is done no when all instances are done then only I will move on okay so that was all about in the MNIs you have to first of all you have to check box this box then wherever is your data and the data should be multiple the process variables should be multiple okay wherever is the data you want to run the instance you select the data click on the spawn or leave, leave it as it is okay and here you as per your huge case you can select any of them most probably you can select like all instances are done then I just want to move on okay now just click on okay when you click on OK see this is how we identify a particular uh, node process node is uh, made as a, a MNI so you will see these three lines are there parallel lines are there okay uh, so this is how it looks now what I want to do see MNI part was done now what about the logic part hi the logic was what I wanted to add a hundred in e or you can say hundred I want to add hundred in each values so how to do that now okay so here I am setting the data now what I want here is that's why you know like uh, uh, it might create issue so I will just delete the setting option here and I will in like put it again in the values only because I need I just have one process variable okay let me check the values have been added no it's not added let me just once again go and add it here fine click on ok and that's it because I want uh, to run the instance from here only one output it should have fine 
now now in the a bank for each when you will go fb bank item you can easily access okay there is another thing also here that is present fb bank index if you click on fb bank index what value it returns see it will return the index no matter what data or what value is present there it doesn't concern it will in it return like six values are there so six indexes are there can we get the data with the index here okay what i mean to say here is suppose my data is in where okay my data is local bank data and i want to get the index from here okay not like this one okay like this square bracket fine because if you want to access a particular data of an array we have to give square brackets see here what will happen but one index was uh, 10 automatically 10 got printed 34 56 78 20 all this data got printed in my array okay and generally you know like if we don't want or or you know like this dot operators or anywhere so we just use uh, we just try to wrap this inside index function so that it doesn't break so that's what i have done property or index anything we can use it now in the process as well when it will run five or six instances we should know like at which instance this data is present so here also we will have something like uh, some function will be there or some values will be there which will tell us like what is the current index of this uh, loop mni so that is very important thing here when you will go in the process process will you create yourself okay process model properties are fixed no matter which process it is process properties as well both these things are fixed now task properties eh, in that you will find the same thing like this instance index tp bank instance index when you will go in the uh, documentation of this index you will find like index number of the current spawned activity exactly the same that we used to see in the a bank for each current index it will return and it will also return the current index okay so now i got the current index initially what i did here the same thing i got the current index but i don't want the index right i don't want the index i want the data what is there okay with the help of this index i just want my data so what i will do here is okay if data is not there then i put index like this one index function i have used then i got the data same thing i want to do where is the data my data is in pv bank data great process variable is also named as data only great index okay now index i have done it here okay where to go okay here pv bank data particular index is present then fine otherwise just return null that's it and what we want to do for each index i want to add 100 here and see the values got incremented by 100 you can add anything okay i can add 99 as well that's fine see 99 as well it got added here as well i want to do the same thing let's add 99 here all this data will get 99 added now i want to store this data where if i store the same in the data only then it will be you know like issue because then we will it will overwrite i will create a new okay I, so i will create a result okay result will be also number integer and it should be multiple then only it can store an array of data okay now let's try to validate it once again and that's it done our multiple node instances is done now let's try to debug it i will click on Control d and it is debugged let's try to see oh so data tab was this one it tried to add 99 okay we just got one data okay we will we have just got one data 34 is added 56 78 23 is added so what why what i want here is i don't want just one data okay i want multiple data list of data so here you have to you know like uh, make sure if you want a list of data let's go in this one output uh, and here uh, this is you know like 90% of the time we don't uh, overlook these things because generally we store the variable as it is as it is we got the data as it, as it is it, it you will store it but here in the operator you will see like uh, two more functions are you know like uh, three two more values are there is stored as currently most 99% of time this is only used then is stored at index is there and is appended to a list is there we know that append function is used to you know like add some data in the array so i just want i have just selected the third option append to the list because result is a kind of list here and it will try to append this data to the list that's it done see here now every value got what 99 oh, that's what we need to do a while configuring an mnis 
okay so on a particular process node if you want to configure mni that's how you can do it